Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is database and what is DBMS. And I will explain characteristics or features of DBMS, advantages and disadvantages of DBMS. And at last, I will explain database tasks in DBMS. Guys, whatever the topics that I am going to cover in this video, I will provide all those topics and the timings in description. So before starting this video, please check in description. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first I will explain what is database. But before starting this, you need to know what is difference between data and information. At first I will explain what is data. Data is a raw, unorganized, unprocessed fact. And whereas information is the processed organized data that is beneficial in providing useful knowledge guys data is nothing but it is a raw fact and whereas we call information as processed data guys i will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is data and information let us consider i written some numbers like 2 7 9 3 5 this is an example of data data is nothing but data is a raw fact that don't have much meaning yes 2 7 9 3 5 these are numbers it is a fact but what are these numbers? Either these numbers are student marks or student rule numbers, we don't know. So we call it as data. Just in place of writing 27935, I will write here student scores 23579. Now we call it as information because it has meaning like these numbers belongs to student scores. So we call it as information. Information is nothing but processed data. Next I will explain what is database. A database is an organized collection of structured information typically stored electronically in a computer system. I will explain this definition. For example, my database name is my database. Inside this database, I created one student table. Student table contains name Raju Ramesh Shiva and rule number 21, 22, 23 and section ABA. A database is an organized collection. Organized collection mean in database we will store data in organized format like we will store all names in one place, all rule numbers in one place and section in one place. So we call it as organized collection. So a database is an organized collection of structured information. Structured information mean in database we will store data in structured format like we will store data in tables. Table is nothing but structured format. So a database is an organized collection of structured information typically stored electronically in a computer system that is nothing but we will store database in computer this is definition of database a database is usually controlled by database management system shortly we call it as dbms guys dbms is nothing but it is a software by using this software we can create database and as well as we can perform various operations on database like we can create table we can insert data in my table, we can modify data and also we can delete data. A database is a collection of related data organized in a way that data can be easily accessed, managed and updated. Guys, in database we will store related data. For example, if you consider student table, in student table we will store only student information like student name, student rule number and student section. And similarly, if you consider employee table, we will store only employee information. In database, we will store data in tables format. So it is very easy to access, manage and update data in database. Database can be software based or hardware based with only sole purpose storing data. Guys, database depends on both software and hardware. For example, if you want to create database or if you want to insert tables or if you want to insert any data in database, definitely we need database software. And in order to store data, we need hard disk. Hard disk is an example of hardware. So database can be software based or hardware based and one and only purpose of database is to store data. Databases can store data in the form of tables depending upon the type of database. As we know in database we will store data in the form of tables. Guys before starting this subject you need to learn some basics like we call it as student table. We also call this table name as relation. Table and relation both are same don't get confused and similarly name rule number and section. We call it as column names and we also call columns as attributes or we can also call it as fields all are same and similarly total there are three rows like Raju 21 and A section, Ramesh 22 and B section, Shiva 23 and A section. 
and total there are three rows. We also call rows as tuples or we can also call this rows as records. All are same. If you consider second row, Ramesh, rule number 22 and section B, we call it as row or we can also call it as record or we can also call it as tuple. So just you need to remember this. Next I will explain what is DBMS. DBMS stands for Database Management System. DBMS is nothing but it is a software that allows creation, definition and manipulation of database. DBMS is nothing but it is a software. By using this software, we can create database and also we can perform various operations on database. DBMS provides us with an interface or tool. By using this interface or tool, we can perform various operations like we can create database, we can create tables in my database and also we can store data, we can delete data and we can update data and so on. These are various operations that we can perform by using this interface or tool. DBMS also provides protection and security to the databases. That is nothing but we can keep password to the database management system software. So only users who have password can access database. It also maintains data consistency in case of multiple users. Meaning of consistency is correct. Guys, not only single user, there are multiple users who use single database at a time. Even though multiple users use single database at a time, data will be in consistent format. That is nothing but data will be correct. Guys, these are some of the examples of popular DBMS users these days. They are MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, IBM DB2, PostgreSQL, Amazon Simple DB. All these are examples of popular DBMS users these days. Edgar F. Codd is the founder of Relational Database Management System in early 1970s. Relational Database Management System is nothing but data which is stored in the form of tables, that is, in the form of rows and columns. Next, I will explain characteristics or futures or advantages of DBMS. Guys, for these three questions, you can write this answer. Guys, DBMS is nothing but it is a software. For example, MySQL software. By using this DBMS software, we can create database, we can insert tables inside database and also we can perform various operations on database. This is first feature of DBMS software that is data stored into tables. In DBMS, we will show data in the form of tables. If we show data in the form of tables, then it is very easy to understand. By looking into the table, you can easily identify what type of data is stored in database. Next feature is reduced redundancy. Meaning of redundancy is duplicate values. In DBMS software, we can remove duplicate values. If we show duplicate values in our system, then our system will occupy a lot of memory. For example, this is student table in my database. In this table, name SAI rule number 21 and section A repeated twice. That means this table contains duplicate values. In DBMS, there is one technique called normalization technique. By using this normalization technique, we can easily remove duplicate values. So by using normalization technique, I remove these duplicate values. In DBMS, we can reduce redundancy. Redundancy is nothing but duplicate values. We can reduce duplicate values. And third feature is data consistency and data sharing. If there are no duplicate values, then automatically our data will be correct in database. Meaning of consistency is correctness. In DBMS, data will be correct. And data sharing means multiple users can share data at a time from different locations. For example, one person is in Hyderabad and next person is in Delhi. So by using this DBMS software, these two persons can communicate each other. Without depending on location, users can share data between each other. Fourth feature is support multiple users and concurrent access. Meaning of concurrent access is parallel access. That means, at a time multiple users can access database. By using this DBMS software, multiple users can access database at a time. And fifth feature is query language. Normally, if two persons want to communicate between each other, they can communicate in English language or Telugu language or any other languages. But this database management system software cannot understand English language or any other languages. In order to communicate with database management system software, there is one separate language called SQL, that is Structured Query Language. By using this Structured Query Language, we can easily communicate with database. By using this language, we can easily insert, update and delete data in database. Next feature is Security. Security is nothing but we can keep password to our database management system software. And also we can give various access permissions. For example, there is student table in my database. Whereas for faculty, we can give read permission and as well as write permission. That means faculty can read data and as well as faculty can write data. And whereas for student, we can give only read permission. We cannot give write permission. 
if you give right permission for student then you can easily modify data which is present table so for faculty i given read and write permission and whereas for student i given only read permission so in this way we can give various types of permissions to various users next feature is data integrity in database management system software we can use integrity constraints guys integrity constraints are nothing but rules we can give various types of rules while creating tables so by using those integrity constraints that are nothing but by using those rules we can maintain correctness and completeness of data that mean data will be correct and data will be complete in database and next feature is backup and recovery guys database management system software contains automatic backup automatic backup is nothing but this dbms software will store our data in multiple locations so if we store our data in multiple locations so even though if any data loss occurs then we can easily restore our data backup is nothing but creating multiple copies of data and recovery is nothing but restoring our data in case of data loss next i will explain disadvantages of dbms guys there are some disadvantages of using this database management system software they are first disadvantage is cost of hardware and software if you want to install dbms software in your system then your system must contain high hardware your system must contain high hard disk high ram high processors and so on so if you want to install database management system software at first you need to purchase hardware and next one is cost of software guys there are so many database management system softwares but all are not free some dbms softwares are costly so you need to spend money in order to purchase database management system software so first disadvantage is cost of hardware and software and next disadvantage is complexity all users cannot use database management system software because in order to use database management system software at first you need to learn sql that is structured query language only people having knowledge on structured query language can use sql so dbms is complex and next one is high storage guys in database management system software we will store huge amount of data so we need high storage and next disadvantage is depends on dbms vendors guys dbms vendors are people who provide us dbms software for example i purchased samsung mobile but i cannot update that mobile only samsung company must provide me updates so if samsung company provides me updates i can update that mobile so in same way i cannot directly update dbms software person who given me this dbms software that person must provide me updates so we cannot directly update dbms software we completely depends on database vendors this is another disadvantage and next disadvantage is data security risk even though if we are using various types of security mechanisms in order to provide security to our database still our database is not completely secured we cannot give 100% security to our database because because nowadays many hackers are implementing new techniques in order to hack database so we cannot give 100% security to our database and next disadvantage is high impact of failure in dbms software we will store our data in one location so if any failure occurs then our complete data will be deleted these are disadvantages of dbms next i will explain database tasks in dbms guys database tasks are nothing but operations in dbms software we can create database and also we can perform various operations on database i will explain all these operations in detail first one is data definition the name itself says data definition that is nothing but just defining structure of our database like creating tables creating columns and as well as establishing relationship between tables all these three operations comes under data definition for example in my college database i created student table student table contains three columns they are name rule number and section i did not insert data just i created structure that is i created student table and just i inserted three columns name rule number and section so we call it as data definition guys we also call data definition as schema definition meaning of schema is structure data definition means just creating structure and whereas data manipulation mean inserting data inside database for example in student table i inserted data like name sai rule number 21 section a name shiva rule number 21 section b this is simple example of data manipulation not only inserting but also updating data deleting data all this operation comes under data manipulation for example i will change name sai to name nagendra and for example i will delete this complete record 
Shiva rule number 22 and section B. All these operations comes under data manipulation. We also call this data manipulation as query processing. And next one is data retrieval. Data retrieval is nothing but receiving information from our database. For example, I want to get information about student whose rule number is 21. Retrieving our required information from table is known as data retrieval. Guys, data definition, data manipulation and data retrieval. All these operations are performed by using structured query language that is SQL. Next one is data security. That is nothing but we can give password to our database and also we can give various access permissions to various users. For example, if you consider student, we can give only read permission. And whereas if you consider faculty, for faculty we can give both read and write permissions. Like that we can give various kinds of permissions to various users. And next task is data integrity. Guys, in DBMS software, we can use integrity constraints. Guys, integrity constraints are nothing but rules. We can apply various rules while creating table. If we apply various rules while creating table, then our data will be correct and complete in database. So data integrity is nothing but correctness and completeness. Next task is backup and recovery. Backup is nothing but storing our data in multiple locations. And whereas recovery means Restoring our data in case of data loss. If we store our data in multiple locations, so if any data loss occurs, then we can easily restore our data. And last task is concurrency control. Concurrency control means multiple users can access DBMS software at a time without depending on location. Even though multiple users access DBMS software at a time, there will not be any problem.